guys, so I want to show you my Bumble Ride Indy Twin stroller. This is a double stroller, side by side, obviously. Um, I have used it as a jogging stroller. Um, I know that it's not like technically a jogging stroller as far as like some of the ones that the wheel is always fixed in the front, but it has worked well for me for training for 5Ks. So um, one of the cool features about the Bumble Ride Indy Twin is that it accepts two infant car seats at the same time, side by side. And there's not a whole lot of side by side strollers that can do that. I didn't need that because I do not have twins, but if you have twins and you need to put two car seats in at a time, this is a really good option. So let me just show you some of the features here. So first of all, um, the canopy is independent. So you can have one canopy up and one canopy down or you can have them both up they're pretty big um, they don't go all the way down but turn it to the side that's a pretty big canopy right there the top of the canopy has a mesh little window there I keep mine rolled up but if you want to unroll them they just have a little clip and they um, roll up and they are uh, they have magnets so they'll stay there closed but I just leave mine open for the most part the canopy also has a zipper so this part is now all open and that way if you wanted to be able to see your child from the back you could I pretty much never unzip my canopy I just always leave it and uh, just leave it the way it is Each of the canopies has a little zipper pocket here on the back so you can put keys, cell phone, whatever in there. All right. So the seats both have like a five point harness on them or whatever this is called on a stroller um, and it, it comes apart. It's a breakaway. I think that's what that's called. Um, I try to leave mine together if I can so that I have less pieces to put together um, but that is the harness it does recline but it does not recline easily so so the recline is right here and it is a button that you push and pull down and it is very hard for me to do one-handed honestly very hard for me to do two hands um, so I pretty much never ever ever recline this stroller because it is too hard for me to get um, done and undone so theoretically you would push this button down and pull and it would all recline there it goes and it has completely released and you can then lay the stroller down and it is almost a completely flat recline I don't know what the actual number is like the, the degrees you know it's like not 180 degree recline but it is very very flat which is nice you could put you know a small small one in there that wants to take a nap then to pull it back you push down on the button and you have to push it back up again it's not easy and especially if there is a child already in the seat and I'm trying to recline it or push it back up, it's basically impossible for me. So that is one of my main complaints about the stroller. Um, but anyway, the two seats do recline completely on both sides independently from each other. The um, footrest here, there are buttons underneath. So these things right here on the underside have little buttons that you push in. If you want to push the footrest up like that, we mostly just leave them down, but they have a couple of different positions. Um, the handlebars are adjustable. So right here where my fingers are, there are buttons on each side that you squeeze and you can lower the handlebar different heights. That'll be the highest height. I keep it kind of at the second highest height right here. That works well for me. So the stroller does not come with its own console attached. So, but Bumble Ride sells a one separately, which I purchased and it attaches 
just in the middle bar and one side. So you could actually put two of these if you wanted to so that you could have like four cup holders and plenty of space. I just personally um, just like to have the one on that one side that is plenty for me. It does have little um, knobs that are for a cup holder and I have that cup holder somewhere um, but I don't ever use it because it's already pretty wide and once the cup holders on there too it's not gonna fit through doorways and I was knocking it off so I took um, it off. I do have stroller clips on here these are just I think maybe Petunia Pickle Bottom brand but I keep so I have my console on this side my console on this side and then I keep my stroller clips on this side so I can hang my diaper bag um, I use a jujube be right back which is a backpack and it hangs right there or I use a jujube super bee which is a big tote bag and either one I just clip on there and it can hang on this side of the stroller and I have not had any issues hanging a backpack on the side it or on the back it is pretty hefty stroller so it can hold that um, let's see here's your basket it's a fairly large basket. It's not massive. The sides of the elastic are not stretchy, so you can't really push it down and put things in from the side. Um, and here's the bar. So it's maybe like six, seven, eight inches right here that you can fit things in. So if you have a really fat cooler or diaper bag it's not gonna fit in there but if you have something squishable you can squish it and fit in there so I can usually fit my little baby carrier a soft lunch box our water bottles um, all that kind of stuff when we go to the zoo and then hang my diaper bag from here and have plenty of space here's the brake it's a foot brake you just push it down to break the stroller and then lift it back up I have not had any issues with it being hard to do when I have on flip-flops or anything like that so super easy the front wheels um, they can either be locked straight or they can swivel I prefer the swivel because it makes it more maneuverable um, but if I'm jogging then I lock it because if I'm jogging you don't want the wheels to swivel back and forth when you're jogging and so that is just a little latch here that you lift up really easily and that will change it to where it is now swiveling and it turns super smooth and super easy with those unlocked. If, it, if they're locked, which is what I had a minute ago, to turn it, you usually have to push down and turn the back wheels and then set it back down because obviously the wheels don't turn very easily. Uh, one thing about the tires is they do have to be aired up like a bicycle tire, so it makes it really nice for um, jogging or rough terrain because they are really sturdy hardy tires um, but on the flip side if you forget to air them up and you go somewhere then your tires are flat and it makes it really hard to push I've actually done that on multiple occasions because we never think to put the bicycle pump in the car and then we get to the zoo which is an hour away from our house and the tires are flat and then you have to push a flat tired stroller through the zoo so that is one downside if you have this stroller just make sure you are good about keeping your tires aired up and don't be like us because we forget that a lot all right so there are a couple of different things that you can put on the stroller so right now it does not have any attachments on it um, this of course is really easy for my older kids to get in and out when we're out places um, but if you have a child you want to keep a little bit more contained there are the belly bars there are little attachments down here that you just clip that into super easy And then there you've got your belly bars, then you can lift your child in and out if you prefer that. Then to get them back out, there's little clips on each side that you just push and they'll release and they come right back out. Um, there's also a little snack tray. This one actually zips on the top. So you can zip it closed and keep your snacks or whatever in there and then unzip it and fold it back and there's a spot for a cup and then a spot for snacks it's not my favorite design it's not as easy to clean out and because it velcros all the way around um, like my kids would kind of kick it with their feet and it would unvelcro and stuff so same as the belly bar it just clips in like this and then your child can 
get into the snack while they're sitting there in the seat. Thing I'll show you is how to put a car seat, an infant car seat, in your stroller. So same as with the belly bar and the snack tray, you attach with a little attachment here and it is just this bar and then you take your car seat. We have a um, Kiko KeyFit 30 and it just sits down in there. So this is a universal car seat adapter here. It is not um, specific to your car seat, so your car seat's not gonna click in the way it would for a, um, like the base in your car. So once you put your infant seat in, there are buckle straps on either side that you then strap across the car seat. And that clips it in that way. I don't know if you can see that. Do you buckle them up like this right there? So that keeps your uh, infant seat in place. So I think the weight limit on this is um, 50 pounds per seat. So it holds, you know, a pretty large child. Um, my five and a half year old is between 45 and 50 pounds and he fits in there just fine and then of course you know you can use it from birth with the infant um seat set in there so here is my five and a half year old like i said he's between 45 and 50 pounds he's at the top of the canopy when i open the canopy up i mean he has room um <laughs> so this you know like it's, it's fine when we're out somewhere and he gets tired and he wants to hop in there. He fits just fine and of course my younger ones do too. And the belly bar actually has two little buttons you can push and you can fold it down. I'm not exactly sure why you would want to. I guess if you just don't want to take it off for kids to get in and off, you, on and off you can just fold it down. But we usually just left it right there and honestly once they got bigger just left it off completely to make it so much easier for them to hop in and out. All right, now to fold it. This is a two-handed fold. There are these little levers on each side of the stroller, and so you have to pull both of them at one time. So use both hands, pull up on them, and then lift up the handle, and it folds in half like that. There are then two handles right here that you can lift to pick it up. It is not a small stroller. It is very large and quite heavy. Um, that is another one of my biggest complaints about it is that it's really hard for me to get it in and out of my van. It's like, I wanna say it's 35-ish pounds. Um, and on a normal day, that's still heavy. But especially when I was pregnant um, and I was taking my older two out for walks, and it was really, really a struggle for me to lift it in and out of my van. It also takes up a ton of space in the back of your van. So, or whatever vehicle you have, we just have a van. So that's another thing is, you know, you can't really take it on vacation because then you have no room for your suitcases. Um, and I'll show a picture of it in the van so you can kind of see how much space it takes up. Here it is in the back of our Honda Odyssey and you can see it takes up about two thirds of the space behind the seats there. But it is quite monstrous. So pros and cons, it rides like a dream. It is such a smooth ride. It is excellent for jogging. Um, it's just really, really big. Um, so to open it back up, you just grab the handles and snap it up like that. So it's really easy to reopen. Whoops, had the breakdown. It's really easy to reopen. Um, it's just a beast to get in and out of your car. Um, but I used this when I had a three-year-old and a one-year-old and I was pregnant and I was training for a 5K um, and I jogged around my neighborhood every day training for that, pushing both of them and pregnant and it was wonderful. Like it's, it just pushes like so dreamy. So for heavier terrain, for jogging, it is amazing and I absolutely love it. For everyday use, like taking it to the mall um, or you know like just getting in and out easily it's not so great it is gonna be um, kind of difficult and a pain to store it and to keep it so you know it kind of depends on what is most important to you with your stroller um, I also have a um, baby jogger city select that's a double stroller that is a front back 
a, a tandem stroller that's front back. Um, and if you want to see a comparison, I've done a separate video on that that I will link that shows like size wise the width and the length and the fold and all that so you can kind of compare it in case you are familiar with one of those strollers not the other and you can kind of see what the difference is. All right, so I hope that was helpful um, as you are researching strollers for yourself.